Hello friends, today we are continuing with our series on reflex integration therapy to include our next reflex which is asymmetrical tonic neck reflex or ATNR. This is an important reflex as far as the birthing process goes because it helps in the cross body movements which are required for delivery through the birth canal. So this is a very important reflex which remains with the child for about three to six months after which it begins to integrate into more mature movements. What exactly is ATNR? When the child's head is turned towards one side, the same side extends while the opposite side bends or flexes. The same goes in the opposite direction. ATNR is sometimes also known to be an indication of the handedness of the child because the child will have a more active reflex towards the dominant side. So let us see how this reflex will help us because the integration of this reflex is eventually going to bring the child to midline this is going to help to bring both the hands together so bilateral integration after that the hands will cross to perform cross body movements which is crossing the midline along with building the midline orientation what if this reflex is retained in the child how will you observe your child an older maybe a four or five year old child their eye hand coordination bilateral integration midline orientation and crossing the midline will be affected this is the child who you might find is not very well established in their hand dominance so if they're doing work with one hand the other hand will not be brought forward to maybe stabilize the writing surface or most of the time they'll be trying to attempt activities with one hand only or somewhere in the midline but not crossing it exactly and working with both hands simultaneously might be difficult how will this child's overall posture and gross motor skills will be affected well if atnr is active it means that the child's legs are not that well coordinated so some balance issues could be seen with this child crossing of obstacles or if the child has to walk on uneven ground or activities like jumping running child won't be too good at those also if the child has to go on playground equipment they might not be comfortable there or even with cycling which requires a bilateral asymmetrical movement and how will this affect the academic skills of the child reading it requires crossing the midline and visual tracking that will be affected in the child if the child has to copy from the board so they have to look up and then keep track of where they are writing below this coordination will be affected their depth perception can be affected because they will not be aware of exactly how much depth they have to come down for example during stair climbing or how much water is filled in a tub how can you check whether an older child's ATNR is still active or not most importantly if you get your child in a quadruped position and you ask them to turn their head towards one side you will find that the opposite side elbow may bend you might think that this child has actually crawled and is walking, standing, even running sometimes, then ATNR must have integrated. But this is a very good example. Turning of the head actually tells you whether the child's reflex has integrated or not. The same test can be performed in standing when child's both hands are in front of them and the moment the head is turned towards one side, they start to bend. Now let us talk about the common exercises that you can practice in order to integrate ATNR in your child. Very common, cross crawl exercises. They are excellent. You can check out my video where I have explained different kinds of cross crawl exercises that can help in building crossing the midline as well as bilateral integration. But just to give you the most common form of cross crawl that is used, which is touching the elbow to the opposite knee. One, two, three, four, five. Initially, the child may not be able to touch the elbow. It is okay to use the hand also, as long as crossing the midline happens and the child does not try to do it on the same side. 
the second exercise is another brain gym exercise which is called as lazy eight but it is not as simple as possible initially you can draw the picture of an infinity sign in front of the child on a wall and later on the child can practice it in the air so while this movement is happening let the child sway and tilt their head simultaneously so that the head tilt brings about the ATNR integration and let the body sway alongside as well the next exercise is running on the spot so the child simply have to kind of jog on the same spot but while doing this they have to keep their arms in front with their palms down and during this make the child turn their head in either direction initially you might find that the child cannot jog it is complicated for them so they can simply start with a march but the head turning is important so that you can check for any bending of the elbow while the head is in the opposite direction and the final exercise is called as lizard pose so i'm going to show you this picture of the same in which the lizard pose is followed the child is lying down with their head facing down first turn the head towards one side where the same side arm extends and the leg moves up flexes then the head is turned in the opposite direction while the arm and leg remain in the same position then you move the leg and the arm down after that the direction in which the head is moved that side you move the arm and the leg up so in a flexed position turn the head to the opposite side later on bring the arm and the leg down and repeat it 10 repetitions can be done for this lizard exercise two to three times per day ATNR plays an important role in everyday life of the child, even in their daily activities, dressing, undressing themselves. Eating food requires a lot of bilateral integration. Similarly, working at school or even if the child has to take a bath, brush their teeth, everything requires crossing the midline and bilateral integration, applying toothpaste on a brush. So if you help your child in integrating these reflex, you will find there is a significant difference in how they overcome their challenges we will continue these series with more reflexes and till that time please like the video subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development ring the bell icon for notifications and do add any queries or suggestions in the comments below we'll meet again soon bye